Hello, now let's move to the net solid modeling tutorial. So in this case, let's do the Hamid body. So as you go into the case directory, you will find here Hamid, Hamid, and open the PDF. So see that what we have is this. Okay, you have all the dimensions there. And this is quite funny case because if you are new to solid modeling and then to this this part to do this part here the front region you might take uh, the longest path okay so i will save you some time with a few trips then here the amit ball is a very well known case in cfd and usually you will find that they change this angle here okay so here i just put this variable but put any angle so uh, for our proposals that let's put 20 degrees but this distance is fixed so nothing will change okay so Let's do this case. You have all the dimensions there, okay? So, and they are in millimeters. So there are different ways to do, again, different ways to do this case. So here, I already have the document, okay? So for instance, now one amet body, two amet body, and here, let's work it out. So see that we have the geometry here, and let me show you the, the steps, okay? So let me go here. So first, we're doing a region here, the bottom region. Then we do an extrusion here. So you create this square box, easy piece. Then create an sketch here and give an angle. I know 20 degrees, whatever, 20 degrees, whatever you, you want. And see that now you have this. So see that you are very close to, to the final section. And now you need to create this part here in the, in the front region, see this. So some people will take this Okay, for those who doesn't know all these features here, and we they start to do create new cylinders and do boolean operations. So I want to remind you that you have this fitted option. Okay, that is the one that is going to do that. So you apply a fitted in that phase with the given diameter or radius, sorry, and see that you have this automatically. So see the difference. This I'm very easy adding the fillet. You have that, and then you start to do the sketches for the for the steels at the bottom, see that you add the steel. So in this case, we're putting a symmetry line, do distortion, and that's it. You have the body. So in a few uh, steps, you can get that. And then these are some optional steps that later I'm going to talk what is happening there. Okay, so just let me hide that. So let's do this geometry. So as usual, create a new geometry here, documents. We call it Ahmed test one. And let me see. So there are different ways. So see that in this case, I started from the bottom and uh, the distribution. You also can do like this, creating this. Okay, it's up to you. So let's say that I, I will, okay, let me do it in the, in the other way. Okay, so 1.45, okay, so. Okay, choose your sketch plane. So as usual, we like to do like this, and then I will sketch in this one. Okay, normal there, and a sketch there. Okay, so I will create a rectangle. So I can put it there to make it symmetrical right ahead. Okay, so bam bam bam. Let me add dimension there. So that one would be 1.044 fix to screen, press F, and let me check the dimension. I'm doing this one, okay. So doing the other one, it will be exactly the same. Okay, but I just 0 0.389, okay. If I will recall now, yeah. So doing that like this one, it will be exactly the same. Okay, just ne need to get this. Okay, well, we can choose any of them here. Okay, so we have this, and now let's say that I want to have, okay, uh, let's say that, let me do something like this. So let me may add some constraint. Let me make this coincident with that, and now it's fully constrained, okay? Not a big, big deal. So now let me do extrusion, okay? So let that phase. And let me go, let me do this one, will be distribution, will be 0 
okay we have a third dimension so I go here 0 0.2 okay so see that I have this block here I created this block and now you need I created this block or you can have done it in the other way so you have the dimension so nothing changed and now let me add this feature there okay so you select this face sketch in that face normal to screen and let's do something like this boom but I'm boom and this Okay, uh, it's ta ta ta. Zero point two two, if I will recall. Uh, bam bam. Okay, you give the dimension and see that it is constrained there. So you have the constraint, and now let's give an angle. So let's say that escape. Okay, between this and this, let's say that is twenty degrees. Okay, let's happy, go here, remove my material and go up to face, select this face and you are done. Okay, so for instance, if you go here and if you change this angle to 45, it's automatically updated. updated. So remember, design intent. So let me put it to 35, let's say, that you saw the, the, the condition that you are going to find in most articles. And now that we have this, we need to create the front, the front section. So some people will start to create like different stock here, so we'll make it really, really complex. So in this case, just select this face, select there, and you're going to add there the fillet, and we need a radius of, radius of one hand, 100 millimeters or 0 0.1 and there you go so at this point let me change it here to 25 so at this point we're almost done or basically we're done we just need to add the support here the steels so select a sketch there put it normal to screen and then you can see that you have all the dimensions there so you can add each one or you can add C you can use symmetry. So I will use symmetry and I will add two there. Okay. See so that there are many ways to do things here. So to create symmetry, I select line and I will sketch in this one. I see that it's telling me that this is the midpoint. Okay, so put it there, keep horizontal line and to the midpoint. This will be my mirror axis that I will make it. A construction line and now let's add the circles okay the select construction put one there and now we can add the dimensions okay it doesn't matter so the radius of 0 0.03 or the diameter 0 0.03 0 0.03 okay and let me let me go back to 0 01 okay so the distance from here to here 0 to 0 01 so let's confirm you have it here the distance between axes or this is up to you to pick up one okay so see that it's up to you to pick up one but you you are going to have different parameterization i will pick up this one 372 through three and then you need to give the other distance that is from the axis is 31 0, 0, 31 okay let me go here so from here to here 0 0.031 here to here 
0.031 and that's all so if you want to get a bit confirmed that this distance is okay so see that that is a driven distance it's gray there okay so we'll go there and you see that you have it so it's up to you to pick up one so you can change it by the way you right click there you can change from change to driven okay so now this is driven and you can change this one to the other type okay so it's up to you let me go back here so now that you have this let's mirror this entities so remember deselect any selection that you have a spacebar select here and access to mirror and then mirror this mirror this and voila you are done so see for instance okay and the mirror utility escape so you change this 0 0.06 automatically the mirror will change 0 0.031 okay again this is design intent so now that you have this you are happy with that you can do a final extrusion okay so you select those entities this 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 and this okay and it have to be a distance of you have it here 0 0.05 put here 0 0.05 and there you go you have your hammock body there fully parametric okay so if you just go back to the sketch this one and just change the angle so in this case we start from the bottom we can also start from this face so it's true from here to here and it will be exactly the same so probably it will be less you are going to save one step if you do it from here to here okay so now let's move what else we need to do okay nothing we have the geometry and probably so when you export this one in STL you are going to export it in this axis that you have okay so maybe if you want to have everything starting from zero the steel here including this one you can translate this geometry okay so let's say that here you have more tools and here you have this one transformation transform and i want to apply it to the whole body and i want to translate by a distance and you know that i want to translate it in this axis 0 0.05 that I saw that okay let me do it again this one I translate this 0 0.05 if you want to keep a copy just set it there and you have it there in zero and then also you can put it in the the middle it's up to you so let me apply another translation the body there and translate here so this one is set okay and it will be let me recall it will be this one okay three three eight nine okay let me go here zero three eight nine you can put mathematical operations by the way uh, it should be negative and there you go okay so now you go here right click export okay if you have multiple parts you need to select the part that you want to export or do the boolean to get the decided now the decided uh, final solid so you give it a name and this is it now so now we're going to use this okay this case is we're going to to run it now we're going to do the mesh and eventually we're going to run this this simulation so what are we doing for a nice scratch so that's it that's all as you see it's pre pre pretty easy to, to do the geometries okay so just get familiar with the tools so thanks for your attention see you next time next video bye